What up, everyone? My Fresh Back people, welcome back to another episode of Fresh Back Podcast, episode 13, part two. We just got back from a uh, really dope vacation. Um, you know, it was pretty fun, it was really vacation needed. But my boy, the striking man, I know it was your birthday. Happy birthday! Thank you, Hope thank you. you. Enjoyed it. Uh, I know I was drinking one for you. Um, so how, how, how was your baking? It was good, man. It was cool. I did a little bit of uh, staycation. I uh, hit Catalina Island out here, which I recommend to everybody who hasn't done it. Uh, it's my second time there, and I can't get enough of it, man. It's really nice over there. Met a lot of cool local people. Uh, people have lived there all their life. Uh, it's really chilled. I mean, I mean, they say that there's no crime that exists there, but I doubt it. I'm sure here and there, you know, people do crazy things. Um yeah, and then kind of took off to Nevada, where I think you were for a, for a cool minute too, and and that was fun yeah. too. I mean, a lot of drinking, a lot of gambling. That's what I like to do. Uh, but how about you? I know you were out and about and hit different spots too. So I know uh, I left a day before, or not like two days before you did. Um, I went to Vegas first for two days, pretty chilling, on just. Um, Hanging around, drinking. Um, it was pretty dope. And then, uh, I think that weekend, the last Saturday, we drove uh, to Arizona, which um was pretty dope too. Um, just to not relax, nothing big, you know, just um uh, chilling, drinking, relax, getting into the pool and shit. You know? Yeah. And um, then we hit Grand Canyon. Oh shoot! That that. that it was, was kind of a trip, like, when you actually go there in person, you know? Um, and then from there, we hit Laughlin, and we spent the night there, and then we come, came back to LA, back to reality, you know? I, I've been wanting to ask you, and I, I ain't asked you because I know we're both busy doing things, but you, you have sent me, I don't know if it was a clip or or, or uh, some photos of this huge, like, a greenhouse that you were over there in AZ. What was that? A greenhouse? Yeah, uh, there was like was a bunch a, of like different greens and and like I don't know if it was butterflies or or like uh, birds flying. It was tall though, but it was massive. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so that was in Arizona. It was called a uh, uh, butterfly wonderland. Where oh, they just okay. uh I'll give you a history about like um all the butterflies, like you know how they like they uh, they uh, do the you know how they're born where. The, who, what country do, what country uh, produces the best butterflies, something like that, you know? Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. like, there's basically, like, aquarium, you know? Like, there's, like, um baby sharks, like, uh, oh, crazy. Skins, like, yeah, like, fishes that I haven't seen never in my life, bro. Like, mm. like big, big, like, fishes, you know? Like, I was like, damn, what the hell? Like, what is this? What is this for, you know? <laughs> um, but, yeah, they had, like, a little room. Uh, I, I, like, uh, they have it to a certain temperature for all butterflies, and it's just nothing but butterflies flying all over the place, you know? And I, then, I saw uh, it, like, I'm telling you, it looks so big that I couldn't tell if it was butterflies or, like, birds, because it looked tall, bro. Yeah, like, all kinds of butterflies, bro. Like, you can name it, bro, like, from different colors, like, colors I've never even seen before. Like, um, but, yeah, like, when you go in, they're, they're really careful, you know, because they make sure that, um, they don't, none of them get out, you know? Yeah, yeah. So uh, that was pretty dope. Um, All right. I that. It was um, Butterfly Wonderland. And uh, what else? I went to go visit the State Farm uh, Stadium oh. with the Arizona Cardinals play, which I just found oh, out yeah. that's what's going to be, gonna be Super Bowl at, um, for this year. For this year? year? Oh, all right. For this year's Super Bowl, that's what's going to be at. Um, all right. It was pretty dope. Um, and but just the weather, bro, was pretty hot. How hot was it in Arizona? It went up to like one, one thirteen, one fourteen. Yeah, yeah. Where where I was at Laughlin, where you later were, the hottest it got one day was one sixteen, and bro, you could totally feel it when you go outside. It's just like you're literally walking in an oven. But it, it's it's different heat than out here that where we're having, where it's more humid. Over there's like dry desert heat. So in a sense, like I feel like that was a little bit more tolerable. Uh, the humidity is just like you're just always sweating and it's hot. 
But over there, it's just dry heat. But uh, nevertheless, man, it got super hot. I was like just staying in the casinos, trying to drink and hydrate, man. Yeah, I feel like the, uh, yeah, I, I kind of agree with you because it's a different type of, uh, I guess, heat. And then, like, guess I remember when when you t- when you got back and you told me like, bro, I'm hating. I guess that's when the heat wave was gonna start, you know? Like, bro, I'm hating and this and that. And I was like, but damn, bitch, we, you just left where you know, uh, Nevada was even uh, hotter than than, than LA, you know? But yeah, it's like I guess yeah. It's different, and I think another different. It, and another thing is like I think when we all go out in the road trip or, or vacation like that, like you almost the whole time on AC, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you know? rare when you go outside. I mean, um, at least when I'm in Vegas, like especially when it's really hot, like I try not to walk around because, like, even though the casinos are right next to each other, they're like long blocks to walk to the other casino you know yeah and if you could walk through the inside that's cool because you're like through the ac all the way through but sometimes you gotta cross those little bridges all the way across and you're just like getting toasted by the sun you could actually hear the sun when it's burning but uh but it, you know what yeah. it, it was fun like i'm not even complaining because you know sure i was in that work for a cool minute and and it had been like at least three years i haven't gotten away like that so i had fun i had a blast that's dope. Wait, so what did what did you do for your birthday? You were at Catalina, um, I, no? Yeah, we're at Catalina actually for, for my birthday. We're out there. It was nice. It was actually nice. Like I could almost say Catalina's like the cousin of, of uh Hawaii for me. Cause like you're there and like no, you get that bro. same vibe, that same feeling, like there's just no stress, everybody's chilled, nobody's like stressing out. Um I'm telling you, I was tripping now because I would see cars with the keys and the ignition just parked there like nothing. Cause like, again, talking to the locals, they're like, Oh, nobody takes your stuff here. And, and if they do, it's like, where are you going to go? It's an Island. You know, you're going to eventually find it. So I was like, yeah, I guess you got a point there like that, man. I was like, dude, like one of my bartenders I met over there, Memo, he was telling us how he leaves. He never closes his door even at night. I'm like, man, like you can't do that here in LA. You know, it's like whole, total different environment. You can't, there's no way, bro. I guess that you have like three locks for your door. (laughs) (laughs) You still begin. (laughs) (laughs) You still need a gun. (laughs) Yeah, that's crazy. Wait, so you did you drove to Catalina? Well, we drove drove to Long Beach, and from there we caught the ferry to Catalina, and uh, that's like a Mm forty-five minute ride. It's pretty chill. I like the 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 trip there. Um, yeah. yeah, and then you know, you, you could either catch it the same day, like, I think the latest one leaves at 9 p.m. at night, or you could just wait the next day and, and you know, chill there another day. But time just it goes really slow. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. I recommend it for anybody who hasn't gone, do it. Um, I didn't get to do it till like maybe a year ago, I went for like a day or so, and I was like, dang, I've been missing it's just like down the street for us, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so like when I went to Vegas, um, uh, I got now uh, the next day, um, we did like we went to walk around, we hit that, uh, what is it like, Old Town Vegas? Old Town um, Vegas, yeah, but, yeah, I haven't, hadn't been there in a minute, but it looks pretty nice now, you know, like, like the whole like roof ceiling with lighting and everything, um, it, it looks pretty dope. And then we hit, um, the high roller, uh, uh, fairy wheel, or what is it? Yeah, fairy wheel. Yeah, the um, fairy wheel. Yeah, that was pretty dope. Like you could see, like the whole, uh, uh, like the whole CD and everything. That was pretty uh, yes. uh, dope, right there. Yeah, and then, um, I, I gotta tell you, when I when I the first time I got on that thing, um, I was like, you know, no sweat, I was cool, right? But, bro, like, no lie, I don't know why. Like, as I was going halfway up, dude, like mm-hmm. that 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 afraid of heights fear started kicking in bro and and because i think this was the thing for me that because it moves so slowly like you gradually start seeing yourself getting higher and higher and higher and then you're like dang like i don't know that at least for me that feeling of like i don't want to get stuck up here kind of kicked in and dude i was like low-key panicking a little bit right but luckily i don't know why we had bought like a cool bottle of fireball before we went up there 
bro, tell me why I cracked it open and started drinking that thing just to calm down. And it helped, bro. It helped. It really did. Because I was like almost like low key panicking out like, oh, shoot. And then I don't know if you remember, like to to get in and, and get off. The thing doesn't even stop. Like you got to kind of like jump in oh, there, yeah. better not miss, because they have nets in the bottom. And I'm pretty sure somebody's mm-hmm. missed. Yeah, made your tipsy, you know, and they fall. Oh, I would not want to go through something like that. Let me tell you. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, wait. You 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 don't like roller coasters? I love roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, but I'm telling you, it's just this one. I feel like it was just because. It's a very small movement that it's going around. Like, I don't know, man, this is all like, I was like, fuck, go around already. I want to get the fuck off this shit. But because it goes pretty high, man, it's pretty high up there. Oh, yeah. And it's crazy because I didn't know that, that it's literally um, have 30 minutes to do the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why yeah. I'm just like, wow, how is it 30 minutes? Like the thing's moving. But when you're actually on it, you're like, you see how like it's slowly moving. And then it's crazy yeah, because it's the ball kind of turns with the movement. You know, it's like, I don't know. It's just too many yeah. things moving too slow for me that in my head, I was like, all right, I want to get out of here already. And I don't know, I'm going to say a little bit, but fireball to the rescue. <laughs> I, I felt I was cool. And, you know, we were just enjoying the view and everything. Um, it was pretty dope. Um, All right. And then we hit uh, oh my favorite my favorite um taco spot tacos like Bordo, bro. Um, I keep hearing I about that their, place. Their, but I only go for the pastor um uh, tacos. That's it's legit. All I do, bro. It's, okay. It's, that's probably like my all time favorite um uh, pastor tacos. A like, pastor spot. Every time I go, every time I either I go to San Diego or uh. For Vegas, that's the first thing I hit. Wait, they have one in SD two? Yeah, no, yeah, in San Diego in, in Chula Vista. Okay. All right. I didn't know that. Um, but the one right here in Vegas just always packed, huh? Well, I just found out there's another one uh like uh outside the the strip. Um mm. I think it's only like maybe like ten uh fifteen minutes right. Um, okay. Kind of like, kind of like going to the like if you're going to the outlets for the stop stop point. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. So like, yeah, they're right, right there, and then it, there's I guess it's, it looks brand new, like they just barely open it. So we hit because the last day when we were going to Arizona, I, t- I told my girl like, dude, I'm hitting top of the board, you know, because I know they're gonna have over in, uh, in Arizona. So then yeah. dude, was packed like you said, bro. That's the line was outside, you know, and I was like, hey, no, because the, the day the next day. After we got there, we hit it, but it was it was it was not a crazy pack, you know. Yeah. But the the last day, that's that shit was packed, bro. And I was like, man. So then we looked it up, you know. Uh, we GPS it, and then it, it said that it was like I think it was like two point something miles. And I was like, well, okay. Like, if it's, I don't know, I don't know if it's the right one, you know. Do you should try? You should, you should try that with um the pastor, bro. All right, oh, and the, and the chorizo. Oh, that's bomb too. Hell yeah. It seems like right. this, this like special green sauce, bro. Like it looks like a like a guacamole sauce, but it's not. It's just mm. legit. All right, all right. Shout like, out to Tacos El Gordo. But, uh, yeah, but uh, vacation was dope. Uh, so that it ended. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, shout out to everyone that watched our episode thirteen, part one. But we're out vacationing. We gladly appreciate it. And uh, the we are busy, you know, during the vacation, you know, drinking it up. Yeah, but yeah. Um, we're back though. Yeah, beast. But uh, talking about weather, crazy weather we've been having. Have we heard about weather? But like around the the globe, like I've been hearing, China has also for the last two weeks have been hundred plus, n- nothing less than a hundred for those guys, and they're they're frying up. Uh, like thirty three out of their sixty four lakes have dried up, and that's a lot. That's like that's more than half almost, you know? Um, I, I, I seen these videos where, like, some villages, bro, they're, like, literally going, like, inside caves because it's just cooler in there. And, like, they're really getting a lot of heat, man. It's crazy. Uh, I haven't heard about uh, fair weather. The only weather I'm uh, I'm hearing and then I'm dealing with is the one that we have right now going on, you know, with the heat wave, you know? Um, 
on which I heard this. The, what is it? They have this. They have this thing called uh, I don't know what is it. Where they say that to save your energy from four to nine. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, dude, like, it's more than a hundred degrees. Like, I'm not gonna be with no AC for five hours, you know? I'm so sure. now I could imagine how I'm like I could imagine how like you saying over in China, how how they're dealing with all that weather heat all the way, you know? Dude, I, I I hate humor, bro. Like it just damn like what a passion. Like I hate we just waking up waking up sweating or like just coming out of the shower and you're already sweating again, bro. Like man. Yeah, it's so cool, bro. Like, it's super uncomfortable. Uh but but for China, it's crazy because they're saying that, like, even a lot of businesses are shutting down because, like, like how you're saying, there's too much power being used. So, you know, like, uh, they're shutting down a lot of the businesses and how that might affect, you know, trade because we get a lot of stuff from China, too. So that's going to affect us yeah. in some degree. Uh, but the crazy thing is that right near them in Pakistan, they're getting like monsoons and floods, like crazy floods, bro. And I'm just like, what is going on? Like the two opposites, you know? And it's like, you know, it's crazy to see those videos of just like mud, rivers of mud, just flooding through villages and just carrying businesses down and, and tearing people's homes down. Like it, it's a trip to see all that, man. Wait, where, what was that at again? It was in Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan. Yeah, so. I heard I heard Dubai is a this a hot place. Too. Yeah, well, Dubai is a desert in general, so right there is just always hot, and uh, that's why they're having that that World Cup in in their winter, which is still hot, but not as hot as it will be right now during the summer. Yeah, that's why they move the the date because usually World Cup is on, on like I think like from the end of June, no, or beginning from July to the end of of July. No? Yeah, that sounds about right. But yeah, you're right. That's why they moved it up to later in the year. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's just so many different weather happening and, and all these videos that they're showing. Uh, but you know what? Like, honestly, like, I would like to look further into it because I know when we were driving to Laughlin, uh, we were seeing some pictures where like, oh, the lake is super dry and it, it's it's so hot. It's drying up the lake. It was nonsense, bro. Like we we're talking to some of the locals there and they were telling us that the pictures that people are probably posting up is that the dam that's right uh right by it, they shut it down. They shut down the dam uh because they want uh the sun to hit the shore, the bedrock of, of the of the of the river, uh to yeah. kill some of the eggs of these flies that just keep flying around. And they're there, they're so annoying, right? Day and night they're around there. So that's the reason why they shut it down and that's why the river looks so so uh so dry but but it's really not it's actually because it's man made uh dam they shut it down shrink it and then during the day boom they open it up again and it looks nice and full the river was cool it was full effect people were you know uh uh on the boat on the skis uh they were swimming in it everything like normal so it was good did did, did you go into the water Nah, I didn't. I didn't. But I'm sure that water was cold, man. Even though it's hot outside, I'm sure it's still cold. You think so? Yeah, I, I think one of, one of the bartenders was telling us that, that even though it's hot, like it's cold because it's always flowing. You got to understand that it's not just sitting there. If it would have yeah. been just sitting there, then I kind of would have gotten it how it just like heats up. But since it's always like flowing, like it's always flowing, um, it stays at a certain temperature. It's not it's not going to be warm, I'm sure, but I'm sure it feels good because, you know, you're, you're nice, cool water and it's super hot outside. So it's, I'm pretty sure it's a good balance. Yeah. It's not like when, it's not like when you go to the pool, the, the water pool is there, you know? Yeah. And then it's, it's, it's not flowing. Yeah. And the river, I mean, like the lake, yeah, that one was always like running. Yeah. But it's crazy. So that was my first time, uh, uh, getting, uh, going to Lawton, right? And then, uh, I heard, I know a lot of people that they go there and then they, oh yeah, we go to the lake and do this and that. But to me, it's just like, I don't like, I don't know, I'm the type that I don't, I don't like, like going to the, like to the lake and then like, and sleep, like kind of like go camping, you know? Yeah. Like, I, 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 I was, I'm, I was never like really into that. But when I went that, that day, just for that one night, when we're leaving the next day, 
dude, I didn't know that. Dude, just, it's just literally outside the hotel, bro. Like, if I would have knew that, like, dude, I would just literally just go every time, you know? Like, just go to the room, go to the river, that's it, go back to your room, that's it, bro. And, and, and that's, that's dope, why it's you know? so like convenient. That. Um, if if you go to the one all the way at the end, which is Harris Casino, dude, it's really nice. Like that casino, like if I had to weigh it out without the other ones, I want to say it's like the high end casino. Um, so they what they did is they built a nice beach so you could come out of the resort into the beach. So it's like a private beach as long as you're staying there and you need your little key card to like access it and whatnot. But it's chill because they have lifeguards and um since it's just like a, a river, like there's no big waves coming at you. So it's just chill to like swim or just, you know, be on, on the water. Uh, but that one's really cool. So I told myself when I go next time, I'm going to stay at Harris because that looked really cool just to have your own little private beach, you know, and, and chill out for the day. Especially because, especially that you said that because when we're leaving that day, I'm, I'm going back to, to a lane. It, it, I don't know, the GPS took us to like this little you know, we're at streets, you know, to just to get to the to whatever freeway I had to take. So on, on one of those streets, we we bump into uh an an hotel casino. It's, it's like I don't know, maybe I want to say like maybe like fifteen minutes uh from where we stayed at, like like you know, like the on the like in the main uh the casino right there. Mm-hmm. So it was, I think it was called like I think it was called Abby. Casino or something like that. Yeah. So you could tell right 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 away that that uh, as soon as you come out from the hotel, the lake is right there, and then like the lifeguards are there, and then it's like private. They have their own pool and everything, you know. So I was like, damn, that, that looks dope. Like you know, like, like you, like how you said, like next time I go, I, I want to do that, you know. Like I want, I tell my girl, we want to, I want to stay there, you know. Yeah, the Avi Casino is really chill because it's on the way there. And and they also have their own little uh, private beach settings uh, yeah. because, like how you say, the river runs right next to them, too. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it, that that's the only casino there. So if you, like, get tired of there and want to mm-hmm. move around, like, you got to literally yeah, drive yeah. all the way to, yeah. to uh, down to Laughlin where all the other casinos are. And that's why I like staying in that little strip because it's, like, not as big as Vegas, but it has enough casinos where, like, you could go around and, and uh, try different casinos. Dude, I didn't know that from Laughing to Vegas only an hour away. Yeah, like 45 to an hour. It's really close. You just yeah. go down Searchlight uh, Way or Road, whatever it's called, and they'll take you there real quick. Yeah. So I'm good. Let's go. Let's go real quick. You know, we're already an hour away. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, it's really close. Really, really close. So, I mean, I remember doing that back in the day. Like, we'll go to Laughlin for, like, a certain number of days, and then, boom, just drive to Vegas for a certain number of days. But... Bro, like the way we do it, you know, that could get tiring, bro. Like, you know, just yeah. sleepless nights, just staying up and chilling, you know, but but it's fun. Dude, Either way, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun because, I mean, that's what, you know, we uh, we got a uh, vacation for, you know, but yeah, like, just do it. Like, I went, mm, I think since well, I got to Thursday, my left Wednesday, Dude, since Thursday. To, from last Thursday to yesterday, like it, I was still drinking, but I thought it was like, oh, I'm, I'm a, I'm a chill after from Arizona. But then I went to my girl, uh, my girl sister's house. We drank there. Then that Saturday we went to her brother's house. I drank there. And then yesterday it was my dad's birthday. And I drank there too. Ooh. I'm like, damn. I was just like, today I was just like, don't drink just water, bro. <laughs> was like, I'm gonna go back to work and my liver's gonna be hurting, bro. Yep, yep. It's so like, like your yeah. your body. It's like your body almost like craves that water and rest after a while, you know? Yeah, and it's like damn, like so I was just drinking like yeah, I was just drinking all beer, you know, but I was like, man, like that's crazy, like, you know, like I I don't think I have gone that long, bro, like drinking, you know? But uh, it was fun, bro. It, it was just like I love it like this bro. We need to do it. Hopefully hopefully uh uh what is it? When we go back to work, time goes fast. And our vacation went fast, right now. Man, yeah, it just it depends, man. It depends for me, at least. It depends who I'm working with and what kind of people I'm gonna be dealing with that day. But, but we'll see. I mean, we, we're gonna start off on a Taco Tuesday, which is cool. Happy Labor Day, by the way, everybody watching this. Um, yes, 
it, it was good, man. It was good having the, the vacate to end on the long weekend and then boom, get back to work. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I'm ready to go. You know, I just like, man, I just, so I'm, I'm going back up to the vacation. Like, and then I start thinking, like, too, like last, like last Thursday, I was over there and I'm like, I'm, I'm here. Like, man, you know? But yeah, yeah, it happens. It happens. I got, gonna keep, um, keep working. So, like, next year, I get another big game. Heck get yeah. them on longer vacations, you know? Mm hmm. Yep. But tell me about this Good. video, bro. I know we were talking about it. And I told you, like, the first, I want to say the first two times I saw it, because the one I saw was pretty short. Like, I didn't get what was happening. Did you see what happened on the first take, or did you t have to uh, go through it a couple times? No, I, 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 saw it, I saw it. Well, at first when I saw it, I was like, I didn't know what, you know, what was going on. But, yeah, yeah, it took me maybe, like, three or four takes to, to watch like, what, what was really going on. Um, so I guess it was in Argentina, this, uh, uh, political, uh, vice, a powerful vice president, Cristina Fernandez, um, so they were trying to kill her, bro, like, while she was, uh, saying hi to, you know, to her, her people or whatever, somebody from the crowd took out a gun, and then what are the chances of that gun jamming right there in the spot, bro? If that gun would have not jammed, like, she would have been dead, because he aimed her straight in to her head, like, you not know, to, like, completely keep her, like, you know, kill her, you know? So, yeah. like, um, he got, he did get arrested, he got detained, but it was like, man, imagine, like, you just see that gun in your face, and then it jams, like, bro, like, you know, like, but, like, you know, like, those type of countries, like, like, Central America, South America, and all of them, they, they always do, like, when it's political, they always, like, look for violence, you know, like, I guess it's really, really, uh, I don't know what they're doing over there, but it's, it's really bad. Bro. Yeah, it's crazy. The So the first time I saw it, I was like, and it was a short video, the one I got, it was like, bro, 15, 20 seconds tops. And when I saw it, I was like, okay, what's this video about? Like, I don't get it. Cause like how you say, you see the lady coming out and she's shaking hands with people and, you could tell these are all her supporters, right? And then as I kept seeing it, then I see, because she kind of cringes. She cringes and she goes, oh. And you're yeah. like, what is she doing? You know, it's like I, I catch it the first two, three times. But then like the third, fourth time when I saw it, like you said, bro, you, you straight see the black gun come out like that. And it goes click. And it was so close to her head, bro. Like if that thing would have gone off, she was done. Like it would have been a whole different scenario. Um yeah. Go ahead. Huh? Yeah, so like, to me, it was just like, bro, like, God was watching over you like crazy. Like, he knew what, what was coming for you, and then just said, like, it's not your day, you know? Like, Wasn't your day, bro. Um, but so it's just crazy how, like, I'm, that's what I'm telling you, like, those countries, bro, like, she's just, like, if you've seen the video, like, you said, he's, uh, she's saying he's hired to our support, whatever. So, what are the chances, like, Thinking, her thinking, like, dude, like, this is one of my supporters trying to kill me or something, you know, like, that would just, like, acting like he, like, acting like he was one of her, like, supporting her, and then just took out that gun, and then he jammed, bro, like, it's yeah, crazy, bro, like, you put yourself in that situation where you're so close to people that, like you said, you don't know who's who, you know, you don't know who's going to get close to you and try to do harm to you. And sure enough, dude, somebody tried that day, but it wasn't her day, bro. And 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 you just hear when the gu gun goes click and the guy realizes it and he just takes off right away. Like you don't even see the guy taking off, but you just see how quickly he retracts his hand and he just books it because then you start seeing people turn around and notice it. And they're like, get him, get him, get him. And dude, yeah. I, like how you're saying, you know, in that kind of country i'm sure that dude got beat up for a cool minute um mm -hmm. before they even ask questions because dude like you're you were ready to take somebody's life somebody high high ranking political uh, position you know so yeah i feel bad for that dude man and to me it's like even though let's say like you know even if the gun would have gone off like he still i think he was still gonna get caught you know yeah 
Unless it's one of those that I'm going to shoot her and then shoot myself because he knows he's toast. I mean, where are you going to run to? Yeah, but um, but yeah, man, thank God that uh, it, that gun didn't go didn't go off. Like you know, now she, I'm pretty sure she's gonna be like having like all kinds of bodyguards or whatever. Oh, um, dude, she ain't gonna be shaking no hands anytime soon. Watch nothing, bro. So I don't know. I don't know. That's that's all the only um info that I read. But I don't. I really don't know. Like what she um. What is she going for, or like, you know what I mean? Like, but what is she supporting? The type of things she's doing over there on the team. But yeah, that was just like, dude, it was not your day. You know? Yeah, yeah. What was crazy is that it got caught on camera, and what are the odds that that gun just didn't go off? You know, it's like, it, yeah, it was it was a crazy video for sure. Because, like I tell, you, I don't understand any of it the first two, three times I saw it until I was like, oh dang, like I see what happened, you know, and. Luckily yeah. for her, it didn't happen. But yeah, yeah imagine so, like someone putting that gun and then, like, Whoop. and then, dude, that thing you hear that thing jam, and I was like, what? Just like, click. Crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah, I wouldn't even want to be in that position. I'm sure it ain't pretty. Um, but, Beast. What up? So, you know, like, I mean, you always talk about, had to talk about, like, being a role or going to viewings or whatever, right? Yeah. Um, and then we always said that we don't like going. I, I mean, nobody likes going to you know. Yeah. Things, but um, but especially you, you just you just everybody has a, their own way of thinking, like why they don't like going. You know what I mean? But what would you do if you go to a room and then somebody just wakes up at their own funeral? Ooh. Like. They're already in the casket and they wake up? They're in the casket, bro. Like, they're already uh, praying for her, like, doing her last goodbye, and then she just uh, uh, wake, wakes up. Oh, uh, that honestly, bro, that would freak me out, bro. I might come out running out of there because that's not normal. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you're in a yeah. casket, that means you're you're done. You're bring out the flowers. You should have been done. But to come so, back, my boy, woo. So... This a three year old wakes up at her own funeral and later dies, right? So apparently, um, she was uh she got taken to her mom took her to a hospital. Um, uh, her name was Camila Peralta, and uh, she was um, she had they said she had a high fever, like stomach pains, and she was vomiting. So then, uh, doctors ordered her or her mom to leave the room while they treat her but when they came out they told her they told the mother that her daughter had died from um dehydration you know oh. so shortly after you know how they can um you know our, 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 back in motherland and countries like it's not like here like how like you know like they bury you like you know like a week or two weeks later you know over there they you know they you pronounce dead and they try to bury you the next day you know yeah so yeah. So I guess the day that they, the day that the doctors told her that you know her daughter had passed away, you know, the funerals went on going like you know, like doing all the um, the the preparation or whatever. It is. And then um, I guess when they were doing her uh, prayers or whatever, like she woke up, uh, she woke up, she woke up, and then I guess I don't know for how long, but then I know that she got taken back to the hospital while she uh, later died. And then she died from uh, brain swelling. I wonder if the first time she went to the hospital, these doctors messed up and did something where they thought she was dead or they put her like in a coma. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then later on, when whatever they gave her wore off, brought her back. But then she already had probably brain damage and all that who knows man but that's that's bizarre bro like what do you think would go through the parents mind at that point will you think they'll be like freaked out or just happy like oh shoot my daughter's still alive cool oh yeah like, they, my daughter's alive like back alive you know like but then it, it just messed it's messed up that i don't know i'm like i don't know how long i, I know it's like i want to say like maybe like hours like she she dies again you know? and she really passes away this time right well i don't think i don't think the first time i don't know maybe was she really dead the first time 
I mean, like I'm telling you, for her to have come came back, she must have been on a coma or something. Cause, I mean, there's been near death experiences where people eventually come back, but I don't know. This one just it sounds weird, bro. But if she came back, something happened. She came back, but maybe yeah. she was gone too uh, long. Where like you know, like something with her brain was just not gonna make it happen. Yeah. But uh, their family is not suing the hospital, the first hospital that she took her, mm. took her daughter, where they said that uh, she was put on death the first time, and then uh, they're already doing, uh, yeah, they're, they're doing the, they're suing them and everything, and then uh, she they said that her mom uh, talked to the reporters and said that she doesn't have no grudge uh, towards the doctors that claimed her daughter dead the first time. She just said to um to. She just told people to be watch out, and then you know, so it won't happen to you. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of sucks, right? Because you can't reverse it now, but you're you're literally at the mercy of these people who are professionals, and they've gone to school, you know, and and I'm sure they're trying they're trying to do their best every time they go to work, uh, to to do what they do in their profession, but you know, malpractice happens more often than I would like to think. And and it's out there, but you know, in me, if it's human error, hey, it happens all the time, man. We all mess up. We all, you know, just human error. It just happens. Uh, but if it was somebody that cut a corner or they just didn't do their job right, then you know what? Yeah, sue them and and try to get something out of it. Like it's not gonna bring your daughter right, but you know, if it's gonna you know bring you something, I mean, anything out of it. I'm not mad at them for that. Yeah, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what um, like it didn't say the full details, like um, how did they mess up or whatever. But um, I mean, she's she's winning, you know. So I'm guessing something went wrong there. You know? Yeah, that had to be a crazy roller coaster for the parents. You know, she's dead, she's alive, dad, she's dead again. Ooh. I mean, it's just like. Being at, at, at like a, at a funeral or a viewing, and then like, see, like you see the person get, getting up, you know, and it's like, what, like, what the hell, like, it, it's, it's, it's creepy, bro. Like, that's why I'm like going to do, you know? Yeah, no, it's, it's like I said, it's something that you don't expect to happen. It shouldn't be happening, but man, yeah, to see that, I'll probably be a little bit freaked out too. Like, oh shoot, time to go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. damn, but. Um, but tell them uh, what's going on um, with supposedly that new uh, California law with the minimum. So on, on this one, I'm going to just tell you like this. There's going to be people are going to be happy about it. And there's people are going to be pissed off about it. And you can't please everybody. Dude. That's just the reality of it. So apparently the minimum wage is going up. What is it? 22, 23? 22. 22 an hour. So let's say for, you're already for doing fast, for fast food, uh, fast food, fast food restaurants. For fast food restaurants. Let's say you're already yeah. doing 22 and dude, it took you what? Three, five years to get there from the prior uh, minimum wage. I see how you're going to feel a little butthurt about it. Right. But it is what it is. If you were doing 15 and now you're automatically bumped to 22. Hey, dude, you're winning, you know, and it's not your fault. You mm -hmm. know, people make these rules. Um, I don't know. Like I'm telling you, there's going to be people that are going to complain about it. And there's people that are going to be happy for it because they're going to be earning more money, basically. You know, I just feel like at the end of the day, dude, you just got to deal with it. And uh, if you feel like you need to make more money, then this increase shouldn't have stopped you from looking for more money. You know what I mean? Um, maybe it's a push for you to go and try to, you know, move up in the ranks or whatnot. But yeah, I'm not mad at it, man. I, I think like we should people should be making more money. Uh, but you know, if you deserve it too, cause I know some people that make easy money, dude, and they don't do much, you know? I'm not thinking if I should go plan my phone. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, dude, you automatically come in at 22. <laughs> Times have changed. Let me tell you. Yeah. But, um, dude. I mean, yeah, to me, it's just like, you know, you know, where is going to get those 20? I mean, whatever. Uh, those people from the fast food restaurants um, didn't get a 22, then, you know, that's good, you know, but 
the only thing is that you you're gonna see like those taxes going on high rocker bro. Yeah, I could totally see where like the the uh, prices are gonna increase on the, on the on the menu, and yeah, yeah, you're right. At the end of the day, we're gonna pay for that if you're into the fast food whole thing, right? I try not to eat that stuff as much as I could, uh, but dude, like this baking man, I had some In and Out, and let me tell you, dude, I love me some In and Out. That thing was so delicious. I hit it twice, um, mm. but yeah, you know, I mean, you know. Like, from what I see, too, is, like, people at work at fast food restaurant, like, it's a hustle, bro. It's not easy, you know? It's, like, just because you're, like, oh, it's just the fast food joint. Like, nah, you, I'm sure you still got things to do, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, like, like, right now, let's say, like, I don't know, like, I think a big mess, if we get the whole combo, is like, I don't know, like, almost tiny, some change. If they go up to 22, I could see that thing going up, like, maybe 12. To almost 13 dollars 12 13 bucks a combo yeah easily yeah. easily yes, yeah man. for sure yeah, I mean, yeah. It's okay you want you, you, you want you guys want that 22 but you know well, i'll have to people out there have to get my paper that now yeah no you're right you're right and that means that uh that means that uh uh tommy's over there is gonna go you know high high too and you know what? I feel like the Tommies, ya le habían subido a, a little bit as it was. And oh, I was like, yeah. damn, these combos are getting pricey. But you're right. That's now it's going to be even more. Like right now, right? Before the increase. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be another increase. I'm pretty sure. So now you're going to pay like almost like 17 bucks. Damn, imagine your deluxe for <laughs> Sunday, my boy. We're going to oh, hurt. All in and say that, We're going to hurt. I'll start being, I'll start imagine they'd be like, oh, I got a uh, uh, double charger for that double sauce. Oh, shoot. I'll, I'll, dude, I'll compensate and just start getting senior coffees every time I go. I'll just buy a Because I feel like with the app, if you order through the app, it should be a little bit cheaper, right? Or, or is that not true for everything? You only get, you, it's only one item, but I think every, for every 20 minutes. Ooh. Yeah, that's not that. that like good. so, like I like I always get like what is it like uh like the ice coffee the ice the ice coffee regular price is already like almost like putting in some change you know three change right um so then that you get through that it's, it's a dollar but if I use that and I want to get like you know something else that is like you know uh, cheap you have to wait like I don't know I think it's like fifteen or twenty minutes or something yeah I don't know, like, yeah. Well, people, if y'all like going to McDonald's, just get ready for that extra pocket change because you're going to have to pay it up. You're going to fork it up for that $22 uh, increase for our workers. So just get ready. <laughs> Which one? The chicken nugget. Oh, I know. But, dude, I feel like they're always having some kind of sale on that, like 20 nuggets for like 20 bucks. I was like, dang. But I don't know. Like I said, I hardly go yeah. eat there now. So if anything, like now with football kicking off, I'm going to be getting that desayuno. But yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll find out pretty soon how much more that, that uh, deluxe is going to cost. You got to enjoy it when it lasts. <laughs> I know, right? That's so true, you start paying boy. like the 18 for a No. <laughs> I know. Um. So but, you uh, sent me another one that was interesting, man, and this one had to do with another big corporation called Walmart. Yes, sir. What happened with Walmart? Um, it's crazy. So, like, so there's this uh, Walmart shopper accused of swapping barcodes to steal from the store self checkout. So, like, he he'll, he'll get uh, expensive stuff, and then switch and then switch to barcodes with cheap stuff, cheap stuff. And then uh, he uh, he got cut up, and then um, at the sh- self checkout, and uh, I don't know fully like fully, I know he he went to jail because I think he did um, he did it multiple times mm. within the within the same week, um, <laughs> and it was like I was reading it was like pretty uh, um, like I think it was it was TVs. Um, like I guess he, he was he was getting like uh those uh cameras like what? actual cameras okay that, which 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know where where was this at, but I know like I don't. I know the one I go to like they don't give it to you. They ring until you were ready to go pay. You know. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah. I don't know how. So I don't know how he he was doing it or whatever. You know. Yeah, it's interesting to know. Yeah, you're right. Because usually you're like, oh, I want. You know, this GoPro is like, oh, okay, uh, I'll be ready for you at checkout. So you don't even yeah, really yeah. get to to handle it. But, yeah, I don't know. This Walmart might have been a little bit different, you know. But but I, you know what? It's funny you say that because I don't know where I was, bro, that I seen or maybe I saw a video where I seen that now. And this is what I was thinking when you first brought this up to me. Um, well, and I'm sure they've been doing this for a while because of this. That they'll go to the to the meat department and they'll swap out the stickers like for like let's say a good steak, le ponen something cheap like a like, like got chicken molida or something that's gonna be way cheaper and they oh, swap yeah, yeah, out yeah. the stickers. Bro, why did I see that now those those steaks they put them in cases, bro, in a case that you can't even touch the meat, you can't even try to scratch out the sticker, and they're like locked. So that way, when you take it in there, they just unlock it, take out the meat with the box, and you pay for it there. And I'm sure it's because of that, that people are just swapping uh, the tags for something a lot cheaper and just coming up on, like, really good meat, you know? But I, the Wait, things where, people where, do, where man. Where you I'm telling you, I don't know if it was a post or I went to a store somewhere, but I was tripping out on that. I was like, what the hell? Like, look how they got the meat. And, yeah, it's, like, locked in, like, in a box, bro, like. Uh, like how, kind of how like you, you saw the the colognes I send you that they have at Ross, they have them locked in another box. Oh in yeah, a, yeah, like yeah. This, So they have the meat like that in the in the refrigerator section, and then you just grab the little box, and then when you go pay, they open it up. That way you can't swap anything from it. And I was like, wow, like I guess they've been catching a lot of people doing that move. Uh, I could, I, yeah, I could see that happening. I mean. A, a, a good steak is it goes it could go up to like I mean like let's say we go to we go to bonds is like like plus thirty bucks. Yeah, you get like a really fat one, a nice cut, uh thirty, forty bucks. Um and, and that's another thing I've been seeing going up is is the meat. Meat's been going up like crazy. Yeah. Like like not to tirar una carne asada, bro, it's so expensive. Oh my god, if you want good meat. Even but you know what? Even the DS meal, I feel like the, the price has been going up for that one too. Wait, which one? The DS meal, that the one that has more fat, the carnesa has more fat. Not oh, the ranchera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually you get the ranchera because the ranchera is like yeah, yeah, yeah. the cleaner cut, less fat. It's like yeah, good yeah. meat. Like thinner. That one's off the roof, my boy. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. The last time, yeah, bro, I think it was like. I'm gonna say like eleven change a pound. Jeez, no, I've better. seen it higher than that. I think I, last time I saw it, I, it was thirteen something a pound, and I was like, "Dang!" But yeah, yeah. So, so I, 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 I think I got like maybe like it was like four pounds or five pounds, and then it was like just that until so it was like almost sixty bucks, bro. Easily, easily, man. I, like I'm just thinking, like with with the cuts, bro. Like, yeah, you're gonna start seeing a lot more things go up in price, and you know, things just becoming less and less available to some people, just because of cost, man. It's just like some people could afford it, some people can't. Um, but yeah, you know, and and but it's like moves like that, with, with like this dude that he does does at Walmart, you know, it like it messes it up for everybody else, you know, but. Luckily, that dude got caught. It, it, it's it's crazy because when I go pay at the uh, self checkout, um, like it, they're supposed to. I mean, yeah, there's supposed to be somebody like one of the workers, you know, checking up there. You know, yeah. Dude, there's so many. There's so many uh, self checkouts. Like one person not gonna, is not gonna. Uh, is gonna cover the whole thing. You know, like she's probably doing like a price change or price match or whatever it is. While the other food probably, you know, like not scanning half of that shit. You know. Yes, and I see it all the time. And I'm going to tell you because it happened to me one time, bro, that I left like a toothpaste or something in my car that I forgot to scan. Not because I was trying to come up on it. I forgot to scan it. And, uh, yeah, I just walked out with it, you know. And then at the end, I was like, oh, dude, 
I forgot to scan it, but I was already at home, you know, so I was like, forget it, you know, I'm not going to go back and be like, oh, can you scan me for this? But, okay, so me doing it non-intentionally, imagine how many people do it intentionally and just come up on stuff. And then, I don't know, at least the my uh, Rouse and, and Vons that I have near me, bro, you don't know how many people I see go in there and just fill their backpacks with, like, toothpaste, deodorant, and I'm talking about, like, bunch, like, to so it's all the way to the top and they just walk out with stuff, man, all the time. Cause like how you're saying, there's not enough people to be watching the whole store the whole time, you know, but there's a lot of crime and theft when it comes to groceries. I see it all the time, bro. Yeah, me too. I feel like, especially in, in, uh, in 7-Eleven, bro, like, oh. they go to, I guess their, their little section where they have like, a, I don't know, like their, uh, um, like where like, you want lotion or whatever it is. And then they're over there, like walking around, making circles. They probably got, they got what they want, and then they, they go mm-hmm. all the way in the back, like they're gonna go get a drink. Yeah. And, but then they come back. They're, they're, they already saw that fool. They're like already like, oh, like let me see your backpack. Let me see your backpack. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel I like that all the time too. Man. I feel like Seven Eleven is like the school to like rob other stores. You know, it's like that's where you start first. Like the beer runs. I see people steal chips. Man, it's like. Yeah, 7-Eleven is notorious for that, bro. But, yeah, it, yeah it's a trip but, when you see that. You're just like, man, that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. But, um, but, uh, let me see. Let's, well, he got caught, bro. So, um, and I, I wonder how much uh, jail time he's going to do. Look, if he's been doing it for a minute and he's obviously going to be on camera, they're going to look at the dollar amount. It's, for sure, it's going to be a felony felony and up depending on how much though but well, we have a quick update you What's remember up? What's that up? uh remember that uh that guy that uh destroyed uh that fruit vendor that the that they, they he destroyed everything he's a oh with the sledgehammer with the axe yeah 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 so so the other day uh it's, it's going on uh, it's going on uh, kind of training um one of the supporters, um, because he went back, I think, like, the next day or two days after, and then there was, he had a line, right? So one of the supporters, um, like, he does pick up or whatever. He, uh, find, he found out what that guy that, uh, um, destroyed all his, uh, fruit vendors, uh, stuff, and went to his house and played, had a mariachi band playing in front of his house <laughs> for the whole day, bro. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he must have been hating that big hating time, it, bro. Big and, then, time. And, and, and it's not in this, in this, and he had the fruit vendor there, and then he selling just, fruit, like, and it was just not them too, bro. It was like a gang of people like in front of his house. You, you know, I've been noticing that a lot more that, like, for all these hate crimes. And and through social media, like that's the one aspect I do like about social media that people are joining together to like help people. Did they do a GoFundMe for him too? Yeah, they did. See, and they up end up like their life starts changing for the better, you know. And it's like I love that. I love that about people, man. That they're they're getting together, they're doing something about it. And I my big shout out to me actually those people that they look at who who these people are committing the hate crimes and they dig dig deep into their background, who they were, where they come from and why they're the the way they are. And a lot of time, dude, like just through their their whole platforms and and their history, they're able to find out who they are, what they used to be and why they're the way they are. And it's usually they it's not the first time they've done it. And and they show like with proof, like all the paperwork, all the uh, arrests, if there's been arrest of, of what they've done in the past with hate crimes. And yeah, more likely than not, you know, they've been doing it, man. These people don't just wake up and, and start acting ignorant like that from one day to another. It just builds up to that point. Uh, but yeah, shout out to the people that are, are banding up like that through through social media, man, and standing up for justice. Because, yeah, we don't need none of that nonsense, man. Yeah, especially how I don't know how I don't know how they get all the info to like find out where where he lives and everything, but uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure they they dig pretty far, like you know, for them to do all that. Like, yeah. First, you dig you dig into get info where he lives. Second, 
uh, uh, a Wanda, a Mexican band, it's not going to track with cheap, you know? Yeah. Um, so, you know, so, you know, shout out, like you said, shout out to him, you know? But then I was, where I was looking at that band, though, dude, he's young, bro. He's a young kid, man. I don't even think he's probably 21 or maybe around that age. Yeah. But he looked really young, man. He looked really young. But, um, yeah, man, uh, uh, shout out to, uh, Two strangers, they didn't want to mention their name, but they gave him a thousand dollars personally. Oh, cool. Um, aside of the uh, both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that's pretty cool, man. I'm telling you, man, there's there's a way out there, man, and it's just called people getting together. And like I said, dude, if like a thousand people gave a dollar, there goes your thousand dollars to give to that dude easily, you know, and it's not gonna make you go broke. And, you know, yeah. like I said, so, social media has grown so big that dude, people have millions of followers. So it's like the possibilities are there. You grow some money, you know. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I, I just I just wanted to uh, give you guys the uh, update because I was on TikTok and I saw that and I was like, wait, like, with this little millionaire. And then I started reading, like, the description and it said, like, the food bundle. And then they had that, like, a uh, picture of that. Of the guy that uh, did all that that uh, stupid stuff to the fruit vendor, and yeah. I was like, damn, they're in front of his house. Dude, and you could see like <laughs> all people like in the middle of the street, like it was a gang, people bro. Like I was like, damn, that's what's up, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. That's a good good update for for us right there. So what's up, Beast? What else you got for us today? We've got a hot topic, bro. Ooh, I'm starting to like this hot topic, man. Mm-hmm. You ready for a hot you- topic? Yeah, what you come up with today? All right, dude. So you got, I know you got cats. So you got how many pets? How many cats do you have? I got three. I'm trying to get rid of okay, two. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but right now, but out of those, out of those three, okay, do you do you like like one more than the other one, or do you like them even? No, I have a favorite one. I do. Okay. If they come and tell you. A B is like I'll give you fifteen thousand for that cat. Will you let it go? Fifteen G's. Yeah. Keep in mind that's that's your favorite one, and then and then you you've been doing for it like you know like that's your that's your that's your dog right there. Like is it guarantee he's gonna be cool if if they take him? What do you mean? That they're not gonna like do something cruel to him or nothing like that. Is he still guaranteed no, like, a good life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like not, not, nothing, nothing, uh, no, uh, uh, like animal cruelty, nothing like that. No long like, as the tacos just, ni he, nada, right? No, nah, like he just said, like he just <laughs> saw a cat and then he liked it, and, like because of whatever he liked the color of the cat or he's just one of a kind. And then he'd be like, I'll offer you 15 G's, will you let him go or something? That's tough. Look, because I'm going to tell you like this the way I would go about it. It, my answer could be yes, because my favorite cat is fucking old, man. That dude's like, I, I don't even know how he's still around. Like, he's old. Like, he, even the vet has told us, like, dang, this guy, he's still in good shape. Um, So I don't know how much longer he has, right? And 15 G is a lot of money. But then B, like, nah, dude, like, I've had him for so long. I don't know if I could let him go just like that, you know? Like, like... <sighs> Honestly, honestly, like all BS aside, I probably would would have said no, bro. Because, like I said, like I've had him for so long, and I know if I took it, like the next day or maybe hours later, I'll be regretting it, not knowing that if I'm gonna see him again or what's gonna happen to him. Yeah, I probably, I probably, I probably couldn't live with that regret. But how about you? Um, well, because I don't have cats, right? But, um. If I were to have a, if I were to have a dog, because you know, like I would just be a one in a pit. Um, yeah. Especially, especially uh, a pit that I want, that I always wanted, and then, and I already had it, like you said, like you know, like for like a couple of years. Um, now I think I'll do it. No, fifteen G is gonna let you go. No, fifteen G. Yeah. Just because. Nah, um. Like how I'm, I'm, like how I, like my girl has a dog, so like, how, like, like I, like, you know, like I've ever experienced 
with her dog and how he is and everything. And then with that fool, like, you know, like, like I fuck around with him or like, you know, do the this or like even treats or like, you know, just playing around with him, you know? Mm-hmm. And then like, I already fell in love with, with, in love with him, you know? So like, even if my, you know, like, I told her to do that, because I asked her that the other day, like, dude, wait, if they come to you and give you, they say, like, they say that give you 20 G's for each other, you let him go, you said, no. She goes, hell no. And I was like, and she goes, well, you let him go? I said, nah, I wouldn't let him go either. <laughs> Nah, people get like deeply attached. Like, it's funny you, you bring up the the whole dog uh, issue because we we took um, my suegro's dog with us on vacay, and uh, it's a, it's a small dog, you know, so it's like it fits anywhere. It doesn't bother people, um, but for some reason, like so many people, every time anywhere we go, people get attracted to her because she's a cute little dog. You know, she's a multiple small little dog, all white. Yeah. And people are always trying to touch her. But the thing about her, uh, her name is Misty, bro. She does not like 90% of the people that approach her. I don't know why, bro. Like, we tell them, look, look, let her sniff you. And if he likes, she likes you, she likes you. If she don't, just let, let it be, you know? It's mm-hmm. rare, like, when she actually likes somebody and lets them pet her. Like, most of the time, she'll, like, sniff them and be like, nope. Either just leave, like turn around, like don't bother me, or they'll start. She'll start barking at them, like leave me alone. Don't don't even come yeah. at me. Um, but I've noticed that with her, for some reason, that most and it's usually women, right? They come up to her and they start talking with that whole baby baby talk to her. Mm, I feel like she doesn't like that cute. shit. Oh, the little baby. I feel like she hates that shit, bro. And every time I, I see people do that, oh, it's an automatic, no, like, get away from me. Um, the one, one out of the two people that I saw that she was cool with, uh, we were at the bar, and she was sitting at, at, at the, the the chair next to me. Je- older gentleman comes by, and, you know, just talking normal, chilling, relaxing. So like, oh, she's so cute, blah, 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 as for her name. And no baby talk, just just talking, not even like giving her that much attention. And uh, she starts smelling him and she was cool with it. And then he right away started petting her and she was totally cool with it. She was loving it. Right. And and I start telling him like, wow, that's rare. You know, like she doesn't really gravitate towards people. Like, why do you think it's you? Is that like, well, I have dogs, too, you know, but the whole more of the story is that like. 99% 99% of the people that approach us to try to talk about her, they've either have dogs or have had dogs. And the way they talk about their, their pets, it's not like a pet. It's more like family. And that's why I see where, like, I think the majority of the people would never sell their, their animal or their pet like that, you know, because they get so attached, bro, like so attached. And when they talk about them, like you, you feel it because they, they talk with such emotion about their pet. They even have pictures on them and, and want to show them off, you know. So it, they become fam, bro. And, and like, ain't no 15 G's going to let, let let you go to your fam like that. Well, well I'm going to throw something in there. So there's a little story behind um, my dog. Uh, so when they when they brought them, you know, like, like any other mom or dad, like, Oh, I don't want that penny. I don't want that dog. Like, you better take them wherever you brought them, do some, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, dude, like, every time they go, like, to, uh, like, you know, let's say they go to, uh, you know, to a road trip, whatever. Like, like yeah. this week, like, this weekend, she went, they, um, my girl's mom, so I went to Vegas, right? And then, literally, she literally said, like, he just make sure that you leave the dog inside the living room with the AC on. Mm-hmm. Like she didn't even care about her, about her, my girl, her, her other dog. Like, <laughs> just make sure he has food, water, and then leave him inside the, the living room with the AC on. Like, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be too hot. And I'm like, and I'm like, dude, like, well, you're not gonna say how your daughter's doing, like, you know, like, what? and then she was like, I already know what they're how they're doing. You know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, bro, like, I'm like, damn, you know? or like, she's always like, she always tells me, like, well, can you tell, uh, uh, like, my girl and I. That uh, Chubby doesn't have food, and like, she's always on top of his food. Like, yo, his food's about to run now. Like, he bring some tomorrow, or whatever it is. You know? I'm like, dude, like you had, you didn't even ask if your daughter's ate or whatever. You know, <laughs> they treat but, them uh, better, bro. Yeah. So, um, so but yeah, bro. Like, yeah, like my girl said she was twenty, 20 on the table. She would not let it go. Damn. 
about 20 g's and 20, a new puppy <laughs> <You know. laughs> um but um but yeah uh what were you gonna say um what was i gonna tell you yeah i don't know it's just you know people really fall in love with their pets their animals and yeah i don't think there's money out there that that's gonna let them give them up like that especially you know if they've had them for a long time forget about it i don't think so but i i want to say i've seen that somewhere a long time ago with where some dude with an actual briefcase full of cash will walk up to people and be like oh can i buy your dog he reminds me of my childhood pet blah 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 blah. but like how we're saying most people they're like nah there's no way you know and i I don't think seeing anybody actually uh sold the dog like that but yeah (laughs) that's a good one though yeah but um Comment down below what would you guys do if they offer you guys huge amount of money. I'm talking about like over 10 G's, 10, 15, 20. Offering to your whatever pet you guys have. Will you guys sell them, let it go, or or uh, say no to them? Comment down below, let us know. Uh, we're going to give our point of view. He said he will not take those 15 G's. I want to take those 20 G, uh, like, like B said, you know, their family. Yep. Anything else, B's, for this week? Part two? Nah, I think that's it in my side of books, bro. What up, bro? What's up with you? Uh, nothing to start. You should recap. BK was bomb. Uh, much needed. Hopefully, we could do it again soon. And I am not trying to wait another year to do it. Um, weather around the globe is just starting to get crazy. Um, I don't know. I, I, it's, it doesn't really alarm me, to be honest with you. I'm sure it's just, you know, Mother Nature's doing this, this thing. It's, it's normal. Uh, but is it getting different than what we're used to? Yes, it is. Um, that video in Argentina, it, it was crazy seeing that because you're right. We don't see that a lot nowadays to to say that you know political uh representatives are getting assassinated like that in in plain view uh you don't you just don't see that out here like that uh but luckily yeah. nothing happened to that lady because that would have been crazy um what else minimum wage going up hey I, i'm not mad at it we got to make more money but just like b said keep in mind man somebody's got to pay for it and that's usually us the consumers yeah. so that kind of sucks uh what else and uh that's it man for the hot topic man uh i'm i'm curious to see who will be willing to sell something and i'll be honest with you i think the only person or the only pet i'm willing to say somebody might sell will be like their fish because fish you kind of can't get an attachment to them you know Unless it's like a super expensive fish and you pay like thousands of dollars for them because they're out there. But other than that, yeah, I, even that, I don't see somebody giving you 15 Gs for your fish tank. So uh, I'm curious mm-hmm. to see who's willing to give up their pet, if anybody. What's yeah. up with you, Beast? Um, yeah, man. Uh, like you said, bro, uh, Baker was, uh, was dope. Um, it's always uh, it's just sad when it comes to an end. But you got to go back to reality. But uh, hey, you gotta keep working because, like you said, um, gotta work for the next vacation, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, weather like, oh, now that you were talking about weather, dude, I heard that I uh, seen, I heard and seen on the acting that it's gonna rain outside. Out here for us? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be ugly, bro. Yeah, it said it said it was gonna be like a sixty-five percent rain. And like a 70 something uh community oh yeah dude going back to puerto rico and florida for you Tell me. <laughs> um uh yeah so uh, watch out for that um like you said be, uh touch on that your team you really don't see that but, you know those politicals and then somebody pulling up the gun you know um and then rest in peace to that Three year old that you know woke up from a funeral and then let her let her die, you know. Because so young were, you know, so young. And uh yeah, I mean in the way, bro, like people that uh, don't like paying taxes, they evict those 
uh, fast food like game goes 22 or get ready like just if we like on condo that's you expect to pay a little bit more than usual i guess what and it is. Topic, man, comment down below or what will you do when you sell your dog for more than 10 deeps or cat or like you said a fish whatever fish it is um a bird because there's a kind of birds too man. True. Um, what else? Just any type of pet you have that is they it that means a lot to you. They, somebody comes and tells you like, "Hey, I really like your pet. Uh, I'll offer you 15, 10, 20 G's." We let them go. Come down below. And the same man. Um, hope uh, uh, you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll be back next week, episode fourteen. And you got anything else, please? That's it, man. Thanks for rocking with us again. I hope you guys enjoyed the second part of part 13. And uh, stay with it, man. We're going to have a lot more fun coming up next. Yes, sir. Uh, Shout out to everybody uh, that uh, tuned in last week for episode uh, 13.1. Glad you appreciate it. Follow follow us on our platform, Twitter, uh, IG. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. uh, Turn on post notifications. And uh, what else? Yeah, man, just uh, thanks for tuning in for another um, episode of Fresh Rank Podcast. This is your boy Happy Smoke and my boy Happy's Hats. The two beats are out. Peace. Peace.